You know what? One thing I really wanted to do in Star Citizen 3.18, 3.19 is upload a video of just mining in the good old faithful Prospector. This is a little mining ship in Star Citizen. You got like four little saddlebags here. It's just quite a nice gameplay loop. So uh, I did actually record <laughs> and Jack edited a video uh, of me going out there and mining in the Solo Prospector, but um, it was a really long video and I didn't execute the best strategy. So I didn't end up uploading that, but I will upload that like privately for you guys to see at a later date. Uh, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss information on that. Um, but for now, I just want to go ahead and uh, do a bit of solo prospecting. So if you want to kick back, relax, grab a drink, grab a snack, uh, put this up on your television, you know, relax and Star Citizen and chill with me. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of the deal today. Uh, I, I like these videos. Sometimes they end up going a bit longer than I want and um, You know that can be a bit of a pain, but uh, hopefully it's still a good video, right? You guys enjoy right? We're having a good time Hopefully anyway, right so game plan today uh, We've got this beautiful prospector mining ship uh, in terms of what mining laser I'm using in case those of you that are wondering I'm using the climb size one uh, the reason why this is a good mining laser is it has no module slots, but it has like other features that make it worth it. So basically, it's really good for just going out there and not worrying about your modules, having to restock your modules, and kind of making up for the fact um, that its basic specs are kind of bad. Um, a lot of people have suggested this uh, strategy to me, so we're going to give it a go today and see how we get on. Uh, right, so I'm at Crew L1. So we've got a little bit of a, a journey over to Daymar, which is where we're going to be mining today. And, uh, you know, strangely, I'm always at Daymar just because it looks freaking cool and it is just a pretty place to make videos. But actually, for mining, apparently it's a pretty good place to go. So, uh, especially for the prospectors. So we're going to indulge in the beautiful sand dunes of Daymar. And, uh,. Great, I love it. It's gonna be good. Uh, right, so where are we gonna go? So in, when you're mining, another good tip, I suppose. Why am I? I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about or not. So it's really hard to like make this video. Should I be giving tips on every little thing I'm doing, or should I just do it? I don't know. Um, but I will say this: uh, it's a good idea to kind of set a waypoint or like not go mine at these locations. So what I like to tend to do. It's kind of quantum two one just to get close to the the moon or the planet and then kind of pull it which you have to completely turn off there we go and then just head straight down so if i now face downwards that better not be underneath me 500 kilometers wait am i really far off the ground or is that just close yeah so if i go like here. Wait, no, I think that's underneath where I am. Which is weird, because it should have the dotted outline. 500, yeah, so that is wrong. This marker here is wrong. 516 kilometers away is the other side of the planet. Yeah, because that one is dotted. That's what it means, by the way. If it's, like, hashed around the edge, that means it's the other side of the moon. Uh, which is really good for us now, because it means that no one should be here. It's very unlikely anyone's going to stumble upon us. Uh, which is what, as a miner, you kind of want. You kind of want to be doing this on the down low. Although we're not doing anything bad. It's just pirates are a thing. And you want to stay anonymous, you know? Speaking of anonymous, it looks like there's something down here. Have I stumbled upon something? Or is that just weird looking rocks? Because I'm looking in this direction. That definitely looked like... Ship wreckage, didn't it? <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Okay, are we just gonna literally imagine if this this is quantum? That would actually be the best thing ever. Quantum, uh, quantanium, yeah, quant, quant, whatever. All right, so if we go up to it, I think it'll give us a readout. Doo -doo -doo. Let's have a look here. What is this? So this says, oh, this is good tier, right? I think, right? Then hang on. Let me just double check my cheat sheet. 
Oh my goodness, this is tier one. It says impossible, uh, but it's under 20k, so there's a good chance I might actually be able to mine it. If I get this, by the way, that is actually hilarious, because... <laughs> you have no idea how hard it is to find stuff sometimes, like, literally. <laughs> I didn't expect to find something this fast. Right, let's see if I can actually mine this. Turn up the power. My word, mouse. Maximum power. Are we getting anything on that? No. Oof. Wait a minute. I don't think I am doing maximum power. There we go. I'm actually, I'm actually getting this. So you can see uh, there's the charge level, and then you see on the right it says optimal. I'll zoom in so you can see it. What we need to do is to get this laser, the bar, into the optimal range before hitting the overcharge range. If we manage to do that, um, we will get this rock to break, and then we can like salvage it and like take up all the materials we want. And this is a tier one. I absolutely love this. This is like literal. No one's going to believe me. Someone's watching over me, just giving me god tier rocks. It's honestly the most valuable underneath Quantanium. So that's pretty huge. All right, so as you can see, it's going to go into the optimal range. This is the day in the life of a miner in Star Citizen, 100%. It's kind of not, though. So I'm going to back off a little bit. Oh, my words. Oh, I screwed up. Oh, I screwed up. Hang on, I can turn it off. So I'm going to let it cool off because I screwed up. Oh, no. I may have completely screwed up there. Oh, I got distracted. I'm thinking of titles for a video. Okay, I might have just saved it. Just. No, that's going to explode. That's going to explode. I don't want it to kill me, so that's just 300 meter away. Is it going to go? I think it's... There we go, it broke. That actually wasn't too bad. That could have been a lot worse. I think I lost a lot of it. Yeah. <laughs> no! <laughs> I wasn't paying attention, so it went into overcharge and then it exploded, but quite honestly, I think there's a lot around here, so it's fine. So let's see, what is this? So if I go to extraction mode... So, 76%. So we can leave this until we find 100%. So I lost a lot of that because I was mucking about, wasn't paying attention. It was so steady and then it just completely went off the wall. Mm. Is there any 100%? Because if it's 100%, I'll take it all. Okay, right. So there's three bits. Oh, there's a fourth. Is that a fourth bit? Yeah, there's a fourth bit. So you see the purple outline? That means you can extract it straight away. It used to be that it used to be yellow, yellow, and then... Oh, yeah, so those bottom two are kind of terrible. But I don't really want iron, so I'm going to... I kind of want to get a successful crack. Uh, so I'll see if I can do this one properly. Because I feel bad. I kind of set myself up. I was like, oh, look how easy this is. And then screwed up, so... That's great. Uh, that's tier two. Ew, tier two? Tier two? Get out of here. Did I, I actually screwed myself over, I think, guys. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! I literally ruined the only good rock here. I mean, the tier 2 rocks are fine. But that's not why we're here. <sighs> I mean, sure. It's pretty good. I'll take up some mine. This uh, does... I don't want so much iron. 53%. It'll have to do. So this is... This is a good example of why you don't scrub... I didn't want all that iron, man. It's too much. This is why you don't muck about, guys. <laughs> this is why you pay attention. Uh, I mean, tier 2. We can't even get that rock. I'm tempted just to keep going, because we, we had such beautiful loot, and I ruined it. 
I need to redeem myself. I'll come back this way. I really, really, really. Oh, uh, one, like, god tier. It was so good up until that point. So some more juicy rocks over here. This is a great spot for mining. Ooh, another little pocket. Sweet. Scanning. 21k. That's all iron? Madness. Right, next rock. It's 3,000. Iron again? What? I mean, you could mine iron, but it's not really worth your time, honestly. This is a chonky rock. 28k? It's literally un unbelievable. 31k. Don't think I can break that. <gasps> That's not it either. Alright, I'm not gonna lie. These rocks at tier 2 are actually pretty solid. Uh, but now I'm just being really picky. <laughs> because I've had such a good run so far. But man, look, this is just this looks so good. I can't get over how cool this looks. Just mining out here with the prospector. Like, look at this. Is that more rocks? Oh my word. This place is a gold mine. I mean, it's not a gold mine, but so much here. Holy. Oh, hello. What's this? It's purple. Straight up purple. It's odd. Uh. No. Tell you what, guys. I'll let you know when I find a tier one. Oh, baby. We got ourselves some gold. Tier one. Sweet, man. Okay. It says in... Oh, it's 58. No. <laughs> I just realized I can't actually get this. All right. I'm going to try. I know I can't get it. But... I'm going to see if there's any movement at all. I doubt it, right? Yeah, nothing. You see that? Nothing's coming up on the charge. It's... Ah, yeah, 58 is a big rock. Anything, like, over 22-ish is too big, really. Oh, that sucks. Man. Let's try this one. There might be other gold deposits here, though. It's in a little cluster, so there's potential. Let's have a look. Oh, barely any resistance. That is all titanium. Okay. Man, gold is pretty rare to find, actually. For me, at least. Beryl? Nah. Tier 2. Bleh. <laughs> I'm going to wind up so many people saying that, because people are like, Tier 2 is fine, just mine it. But, no. Why should I settle? Oh. Oh. Um, again, Tier 2. Disappointing. Oh, that Tier 1, though. Love mining gold. I just like the idea of mining gold. It's quite cool. Uh, just an odd rock on its own there. Last one. I do have some gadgets. I should probably consider the gadgets I've brought with me. Yeah, so 58. I don't know. I'm going to land here. Uh, yeah, I've got some gadgets, so I've got laser instability, charge window, yeah, none of them are like surge modules. Alright, so I can't, I definitely can't mine this then. No! Disappointing! Alright, false alarm. <laughs> See you at the next cluster. Uh, yeah, I really actually quite enjoy this exploration, scouting for the mineables, like, it's actually kind of a, it's weirdly enjoyable, you know? I'm just kind of scanning, but it's like, I don't know, exploring. It's kind of cool. All right, Taranite. Oh, this is tier one. But it's 30. <sighs> I don't know if I'll be able to mine that, honestly. I'll come back to that. That is a tier one mineable, so I'll definitely get that if I can mine it. It's going to be tough. Let's see here. What was this? Beryl. Taranite. Oh, another Taranite. Ooh. 11k. It says impossible, but it might not be. And then this one is straight to, yeah, it's too small. What is this? This could be. Nope, not interesting. Right, okay, let's see if we can break. I haven't mined in a while. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, let's see if we can fracture something. It says impossible, but... Yes, we're getting some charge. Freaking go! See if I can actually do it right this time. There's only 21%, so we might have to be really selective with this. Right, lower the power. And I'm really going to pay attention now. <laughs> so if I go quiet, you know why. It's because I really don't want to screw it up twice in a row. I think we're okay, though. I think we're going to be all right. It is climbing very slowly with minimum power, but it should get there. I can always let go for a bit. It's looking good, looking good. Oh, beautiful break. Ooh. I have to click off the rock for a minute. Let it come down. And give it a bit of a boost. There you go, that's a break. Ah, oh, so good. Masterful gameplay. Whoa, what the frick? Frickin' slap me. Right, so what's going on here? Ooh, full extraction. The rocks are all jiggling around. Right, it's thirty five percent. This is the thing. Oh man, it's I need to re Is there two rocks under here? What's going on? Oh no. <laughs> There's some weird funky business going on here. I've got to scan all the ind independent little shards now. Yeah, it's broken really annoyingly. Uh can I like boost? Can I, like, move the rock? That one still needs breaking. What is this? Twenty percent. Alright, let's see if I can break this. I don't know if I'll be able to break this. Minimum fifteen percent power. I'm just hoping it will... I'm just trying to get it to break so I can access the rest of the rocks. And I'm having to turn off my mining laser on and off. Otherwise it's just going to overcharge. This is actually going to be a really challenging one to mine. Whoa! <laughs> Steady! Oof, that was close. And a little bit more of a boost! Come on. Here we go, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Hey, there we go. The rock's separated, let's go! Alright. Oh, there's another breakable down there. That's 32% taronite and the rest in that materials. Wow. Alright, so let's see. Anything good percentage wise. Don't really want to be sucking up the bad stuff. That's 100% titanium. Blech. Oh, this is all kind of disgusting percentage wise. 18%. Oh, this one's still breakable. Okay. 13%. It's horrible rock. This is 35%. This is actually a terrible rock, to be fair. Kind of don't have the space to, like, grab rubbish stuff, you know? It might be that if I grab this rock, there's going to be segments of 100. This is going to be such a hard one to mine, though. Ooh. <laughs> this is precision mining. Precision mining. Let's freaking go. Oh. 
tiny bit of overcharge there. Let it come down a little bit. Oof. What? <laughs> this is so challenging. No! Don't overcharge, please! Full whack. Oh. Alright, there we go. Something happened. Let's scan this now. Yes, 80%. That's what I want. Let's go. Give me that 80%. Beautiful stuff. Uh, what's that? Uh, that's 100% inert materials. Yeah, I'm just being so selective here. This one's not even scanned yet. What is this? This is 500 mass of... Uh, pretty rough. Selection. That's... Mm. Alright, let's go and check out this other rock. Let's see if I can break this. Let's see if we can break this. It's gonna be ch it's gonna be hard, but anything? Oh, I'm too close. There we go. Oh, there we go. Mm. This is like the the rock we had before. I am getting a bit of a charge, but it's slow. Just need to find a good spot. <laughs> they always say that, but then people say that actually that's just it doesn't make any difference. But I've always found like a little as they are weak spots. I don't know. Oh, so close. I really feel like there we go. That's doing it. We're climbing. Slowly but surely. No, I'm losing it. No. <laughs> nah, I've lost it now. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, I'm not that bothered because only 30% of it is what I was looking for. So, you know what I'm going to do? So, I'm going to see if I can... It's been pretty easy. So, I'm going to scout out one more time. See if I can find, like, a bit of gold. Just because that would be quite nice, you know. We've already got quite a nice hoard of stuff. So, let's just go to this marker. Do a couple more. And we'll go from there. Oh, gold. Sweet. All right. Cool. Let's break this. And it's easy to break as well. Yeah, we're going to get some gold, hopefully. It's like the smallest amount, though. Ugh, that's so sad. I'm going to have to actually, like, turn off the laser and do the whole on and off thing. It's actually quite a hard rock to mine, even though it's... It's like such a small charge window. It's actually really hard to do this. I'm going to have to let it go right to the bottom. It's got a bit of charge in it, but hopefully that should go down by the time we get to where it cracks. Oh, that was close. <laughs> I just want the gold. Give me your gold. Bit of juice. Ooh, damn, that's gonna... All right, here we go. Any minute now. Kaboom. Gold for days. Right. Where's my gold at? There must be a section here. Some. Why is this not broken? What? What's going on? <laughs> right. We're just gonna have to find the bit that says gold. Surely. Scan. It's going to be like 300 mass of gold, isn't it? 200. That's 18%. Mm. That is 15%. No, I refuse. I don't want the titanium. 90%. Screw this rock, man. It's a con. If I had endless saddlebags, it'd be different, but... Oh, 60% gold. Hmm. It's probably not worth it, is it? I mean, I want gold. 
Alright, I'll double check there's not like one little ounce of it that says like 100%, you know? Because there might be. Yeah, no. Okay, alright, well, we've still got a bit of room. Let's go over there. I don't know. Alright, <laughs> as you can see, it's freaking night time now. Like, I've been out here so long being choosy about my rocks that it's gone a full day. So, and to be honest, I haven't really got much of out of it being picky. So, uh, I'm, I'm just going to pick up the best of whatever's here and head off. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of hilarious. Just being a picky miner, just getting absolutely nothing for it. Barrel, no... It does seem to, I like, you get one good rock and the rest of it is kind of like tier two. And like, I think I said out at the beginning a couple of times, like there's nothing wrong with mining tier two stuff, right? You just get a little bit more money for the tier ones. Uh, and, you know, I just like the idea that I'm getting the good stuff. Um, and I, see that's like, if I was just chilling on my own, I probably would just mine this stuff. We'd only have to stop once and then go home. I could have come back and... You know what I mean? Oh, it's not going to be anything good here, is there? And I'm going to have to, like, fight what I just said. Oh, hang on. This looks good. No, it doesn't. You know what? I'm going to carry on. I know I said I wouldn't, but I'll do it one more time. All right. I found some Taronite. Sweet. Okay, well, at least we've got something if uh, nothing else comes up. This is good. I'm just checking every all the other rocks here. Impossible. That's fine. Don't want that anyway. Um, middle rock. It's always good to double check just in case that, like, <laughs> barrel. You know, you fill up on something and then you realize this. Uh, oh, no, I should have saved space, you know? All right, cool. So we can do this one. It's actually going to be... It just says challenging, so it's not impossible, but it's challenging. Let's just step out, step back a little bit. I'm hoping we get a nice good break, and it's going to be sweet. It's kind of hard to see what the rock's doing right now. There we go, bit of charge. Up it goes. Beautiful stuff. I'm going to sit here and sip some tea. Mm. I feel like the server's being weird. Like, it'll do nothing, and then it'll jump up. But I think that's the problem with this laser head it does have a bit of instability well oh, i'm just losing all the charge right now come on wow i didn't expect this there we go well we're cooking we're cooking it's going up come on all right here we go we're in the optimal range <laughs> like four hours later okay i'm gonna reduce the power a little bit Oh, no, 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 not again. Turn it off. Just turn off the laser, bro. There was a tiny bit of overcharge, but I don't think it's going to be an issue. Right, I think we've got this. You see how it goes from, like, impossible to challenging there when I turn off the laser? It's because the effects of the laser are actually changing, obviously, the stats of the rock. So, depending on what mining head you have, like, changes what the rock actually ends up being. It's kind of cool how it updates it for you. Right, we break him, just waiting for the break. What's going on here? Server desync. Hey, we did it! Nice, good job. Cool, right, we gotta find the bit that we want. Uh, let the scanning begin. Right, that is 58%. 40% Taronite, okay. This is... I just really want to, like, 100% good stuff. Does that exist? Can I get that? It's kind of what I'm after, not going to lie. 3%? Get out. Okay, that's 39%. 38%. Daylight robbery. Oh, here we go. 21%. Oh my word. I don't think there's anything here that is like 100%. Which is absolutely devastating. Oh, hello. New piece I've found somehow. Like 78%. <laughs> 
You're so mean. I don't know if what I'm looking for exists, honestly. So maybe I'm just being unreasonable. Another bit I haven't scanned. You know? But... Alright, 33%. It's gonna have to be... I don't want the iron, but... There we go. That's why I'm having to rescan stuff. No, 39%. Alright, we'll take this and we'll go home. Uh, so I've mostly got iron, guys. <laughs> I didn't want iron. <laughs> so annoying. Alright, 88%. Unbelievable. 40%. Oh, no. Like, I wish I had a way of, like, dumping stuff, you know? But anyway, full set of cargo. We've got iron. We've got... Oh, we almost got one SCU of gold. <laughs> uh, inert materials. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how much it's worth. I'm going to work it out and get back to you. Okay, so, basically... I think I've worked out roughly how much I'll make on this uh, contents here. I think if I just sent it straight to the refinery deck, uh, so that is like without refining it, um, I think I would probably make about 50k. Yeah, that's what it says here, about 50k. And if I refined it, I think it would be like under double or something like that. So um, it's pretty good, like it's not terrible. Uh, it's chill gameplay, so there's like zero risks, like, we didn't have anyone interact with us, I was never in any danger the whole time, so in terms of like, making money, kind of, I say passively, but like, not risking, <laughs> like, anything, um, it's pretty nice, you know, so let's just get all the good stuff, uh, titanium we don't want to do, taronite, that's it, iron I'm not bothered about, uh, I don't think we'll get much money for that anyway, so get quote. Uh, we want to go... I think it's Dinks. We'll find, get quote. 23 hours. So that'll cost 5,000. But yeah, I think we'll get about double. I don't know 100% roughly, but in terms of... Like, a session? You know, around just under 100k, there are definitely faster ways to make money. Um, I was super picky about what I was choosing, and maybe had I, you know, just mined exactly what I found, come back and done multiple trips, then it would have been, like, a, a lot more profitable in, like, a session. So what I'm tempted to do is actually do, like, a speed mining video of where I'm, like, going out, and I'm just, I've got, I give myself maybe half an hour to just commit to mining, and then whatever we make, we make. Uh, but that was that was pretty fun. I enjoyed it. It was pretty chill. I was super picky and it didn't really pay out So I guess in the future just mine whatever's in front of you um, Or don't mess up the first good rock you find <laughs> Anyway, my name is Ollie 43. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye